I don't know how I did this, but I can't find my laptop anywhere. I've been in so many different vehicles the last two and a half weeks while being on the road. Now I gotta return all this stuff to the HQ. I'm putting in some diesel into the H1 right now because, well, I think it was so low that it almost wouldn't even start for me. That freaked me out. I was at the hotel. I was like, we didn't really want to turn over. I flipped it to the uh, auxiliary tank and had just enough fuel in it to get it to start. So now I'm here getting some fuel, but today I fly home back to Canada, which I'm enjoying this little bit of heat still that I have on me right now with the sun because it is below zero and it has already snowed back at home. What's cool about the H1 though is if you stay on top of things, you do have two tanks. So you have a main, which is this one right here, and then the auxiliary, which is the one on the back there. So hopefully not to end up in a situation where, you know, you run out of fuel. And then rip to the HQ and fingers crossed, my laptop's there. Along with my camera, I gotta grab my Sony camera that I vlog with. Haven't had that with me either. So I gotta get everything together because this will be the last time I'm in Cali for the better part of three weeks. After this trip, I will be going with Dave to Miami and we are going to be doing a rally from Miami all the way to Vegas for F1. It's going to be a long trip. It's going to be like six days on the road, three days in Vegas, nine days in total making content for you guys. I'm excited because we'll also be shipping out the KB43 Supercharged Street Evo and we haven't really done much with that vehicle. That means there's going to be, you know, six to 12 stops along that route on the uh, East Coast going across to Vegas. Any Anybody who's along the route that wants to see us or the car can come out and do that. It's just gonna be epic. Oh, I gotta get a receipt. It's a write off. All right, I can go back to the main tank. Let's hope this bad boy starts. Uh, I think it was actually so low. I think that's what it was. I think it was so low, it didn't want to start. I'm lucky I went and got fuel. Hey, that's sick. 812 super fast. Nice ride. This thing's not slow. Check this out. Alright, we're at the HQ and I get here and Mike tells me, my beloved Street Evo has a problem. What'd you do to it? I, I honestly didn't do anything to it. I started it up. God, that's enough. Started that's enough. Up. That's all it took. You let a BMW <laughs> guy start a Lamborghini and this is what happens. So we got this fancy Altel computer and I had to renew the subscription, but this thing will actually talk to the cars like through the OBD2 port at like a factory level. So this is basically good enough to get rid of like a hard limp mode. Currently, I'm in limp mode. This is not a place you want to be in your middle age. I'm really, about the, huh? I'm really worried about this car though, seriously. I'm worried about this car. I am worried about this car. Uh, I'm not worried about it. It does funny things like this, and you know what I think the issue is going to be? I think it has something to do with the tune. Uh, not that they did anything wrong. The tune previously had those bangs and the flame thing going on, and I remember we had some sort of EVAP system error thing that would put the car into limp mode too, and they got rid of that somehow. The, uh, so yeah, we need to take this thing probably to VF and have them update the tune. That'll get rid of this reoccurring problem, but for for now, let's see if we can actually clear it. Oh, I see my name. There you go. Damon, technician. You realize all tell is so full of all the dumb stuff you have to put in, hey? Yeah. Because it's, just... it's designed for like some tech guy who needs to make sure he crosses his T's and dots his I's. Yeah, exactly. But it's currently scanning all these modules <laughs> in the ECU. That's a problem. Uh oh. CEM underscore zero nine. Uh oh. ECM two. 11. That All one. right, so the codes are kind of like dumb. They're the same ones I've always had. So like exhaust, gas, temperature sensor, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna clear them, which should get rid of that limb mode. I was driving this car and it was running perfectly fine. Clearing all these, what yeah, are these, these ones? Are, these are left headlamp power output yeah, stage. This like, is just the dumb ones because the kit, kit being on. Yeah. That corner markers and stuff like that. Yep. Those I'm not even worried about. Just find the engine ones. Because all those can stay on. Those turn on they'll the second. Come back yeah, on. they'll come back the second we turn the car back on. Yeah. But if you go to the engine ones, we should be able to turn this thing on quickly before I go and see if it's gone. Central electrics. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Central module comfort system, camera rear view. We know that's gone. So why don't we just try starting it? You got the key? Yep. Cool. Let's fire it up and see if the limp, limp, limpity limp limp is gone. Then let's see the engine light, it's gone. Yep. Oh, done. Bob's your uncle, Michael. So what I might have you guys do is take this car over to VF and have them put a new tune in it. 
and let him know that the exhaust temp gas blah 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 needs to be tuned up. Sorry, I don't know why I'm yelling. <laughs> Car's loud. And have you guys just get a new tune put in it or something? I have an Uber coming because I have to go so I don't miss my wife's baggage drop time at the airport. You miss that? Big to doo doo. Big trouble. That's not good. No, it's not good. Mark, I gotta go back to Kanaka Town. Dang, man. I know. Now you're heading out. I'm gonna miss you. You know, you know what Mike thinks about that? What? He's not happy. <laughs> he's not happy. He's about so it. sad. He's Mike very upset out. about it now. He's, no, he's surprised. Damon's, Damon's leaving. <laughs> gonna miss you guys. You've all later, bro. Stay out of trouble. Thank you. Don't talk so much. <laughs> Have a good flight, man. Dave will be here tomorrow. Okay. Have fun with Dave. Harass Dave for me. I will. And you guys get to do the fancy uh, photo shoot with all the new merch, all this stuff. Saying bye to all the boys here. F7, Tim, Michael. I'm out. All right, man. Back to Canada. Nice. Safe Have travels. fun. All right. Bro, how did I forget the camera? <laughs> I'm in such a hurry. Later, bro. Pretty hard to vlog if you don't have this thing, eh? And we're back in Vancouver on our way to catch the second flight to get to our home in Kelowna. Presley, how was your flight? It was good? Yeah? You look pretty content sitting over there in your big cozy chair. My wifey's rocking the uh, new Because Race Car DD Varsity jackets that are going to be coming out in the next few weeks. So actually not even, two weeks, I think roughly, based on when you see this video. We'll announce the exact date soon. I think the second week of November is what we're aiming for. Some pretty cool art here in the Vancouver airport. What a beautiful day we have here in Kelowna. Check this out. Now, it's really cold, which is why I have the brand new Varsity DDE jacket on with the new hoodie with the black D logo right here. But yeah, I gotta go and pick up a new daily right now. I'm really pumped for this. I need a new vehicle. I've been using Wifey's G-Wagon as my daily for the better part of three years. And honestly, our schedule sometimes collide. So having another vehicle around the house is going to be super, super handy. And I just can't get over how beautiful this view is. Look at that with the tree all changed color and stuff like that. We have a really beautiful fall uh, that lasts a very small amount of time because it goes right into winter. Like already, I'll show you guys. You wanna know how cold it is here? <laughs> Look at this. My front pond's like frozen, solid. I was throwing rocks at it yesterday to see how thick it was. Look at this. It's pretty frozen. A little water under there still. I think it was like minus six Celsius. We gotta head up to August Luxury Motor Cars, go see our boy, Billionaire Mike Hall. Here, quite the whip though to get up there. Check this thing out. Bam! 675LT Spider. That's right. This isn't my car. This is not the daily. This is a friend of ours, Brent Marshall's car, and need to go up to August. So I saw him last night at the Halloween party, and he was like, hey, look, can you take this car up for me? And then you can pick up your new daily. It'll work out perfectly. So let's jump in this thing and head over. This does make me miss Dave 6 and 5 LT. The thing I don't miss are the P1 seats. They suck. Go warm this beast up. Has an exhaust too. So when you shift in this car, Pops and bangs are real. Man, this car is a dream to drive. I would say that this is one of my top, probably all time cars for under half a million dollars that you can get still right now. A 6M5 LT with its engine, hard engine mounted to the chassis so you can feel it. It's really an exciting car to have. Just a gorgeous day for a drive today too, look at this. before we do anything, right? Can I please get a grande quad shot oat milk latte with one pump of sugar-free vanilla? And can I get it kid temp? <laughs> and we're back, 3510 Spectrum Core. Now, is the new Bronco my new daily? Is the Taycan Turbo S my new daily? Am I gonna go electric? Am I? Okay, guess you're gonna have to find out. Is the Hummer EV my new daily? Or maybe I'm just picking up Dave's car. <laughs> you guys will see. Let me park. I got my coffee between my legs. Well, we delivered the McLaren safe and sound. Almost not safe and sound. I was driving down a side street and someone pulled out. They did like a really quick, I think, glance. And they pulled out right in front of me and had to slam on the brakes. My gosh, getting out of here. Getting out of here with a coffee in hand. Oh, check this out. That's 675LT badging, baby. Oh, 
Oh, I made it. This thing's sick, by the way. I think it's cool looking. It's a bummer it's got electric motors. It is pretty quick. It's not as quick as a Tesla Plaid, which is a bit embarrassing considering it's a Porsche. All right, here we go. Let's go see the boys. Pick up the new daily. I'm so pumped. Oh, hell yeah, F8. Man, they got a bunch of new inventory in here. Oh, there it is. Dave's old 675LT, and then we got Billionaire Mike right here in his office, so let's go and harass him. This is for you. Made it here in almost not one piece. I thought you were giving me the coffee. No, <laughs> no. Sorry, I should have got you a coffee. I thought you would have been all caffeinated up by, uh, what time is it, noon? One, one? Yeah, see, you've been to Starbucks. I haven't had a chance to really drink it. It's all melted now. What is that? What's going on in there? Dragon fruit lemonade. Jeez. Full of sugar. We ready to do a, a new daily for me delivery? For sure. I'm pumped. Do we have the paperwork right this time? I, I don't know. For the I sixth time? The paperwork. <laughs> oh, and it just rolled up. They had it cleaned for me. It looks amazing. These Beautiful. guys have no idea. Beautiful. This thing, before we get to it, this thing, by the way, is a ton of fun to drive. Like, how stiff, and, it, and I like that. I know not everybody likes that. Sometimes they get a supercar and they're like, ooh, Buddha. it's like a bit Who rough. like it's stiff? But... <laughs> true <laughs> and it's one of those cars that i think will really go down in history as a flagship car that mclaren made i think these cars once this little dip in the market goes down i think this car long term is going to go up this will be sure. this will be a collector car limited for sure production. limited production it's just it's a special car when you drive it you can tell <laughs> so sale. we need to reveal the new daily which is a little different from your other dailies just joking it's not the porsche it's right in front of me i gotta just show it to you guys because do you want me to do a closer let him hear it before before they see it? Yeah, fire see it up. See if they can tell what it cold is. Start, cold start, new start. daily cold start. Billionaire Mike is gonna tease you guys a little. This is gonna give it away right away. Here we go. Oh, you know, that'd be so confusing on camera. Oh, yeah. I mean, no, no, that, that could be, that could be a Mercedes? I say you end the video right there and have them guess what it is and then we'll reveal it the next time. Oh, that's so dirty. I can't do that to them. <laughs> that's so dirty. You remember that that was Mike's idea. I'm not going to do that to you. All right. The new daily is none other than an all black Dodge TRX. This ironically was actually Matt August's personal vehicle. Since Matt owns everything, he gave this thing up because I said I was looking for one. And, uh, I'm surprised he sold it, honestly. Yeah, he loved it. He loved this thing. He loved it. This is his so, favorite truck ever. He's Earth. got his Urus. He's still rocking with the ski box on it. So here we go. I officially have a TRX. Now, the reason why I chose this is because it sucks putting garbage, recycling, anything into the G63. It's just, it's- So you bought it's, yourself a job. I needed a truck. I heard that once you have a truck, yeah. Yes. All your friends without trucks yeah. call you more more consistently. Yeah, exactly. Just to start things off already, we had the uh, winter wheels and tires swapped on my wife's G-Wagon. So I actually have summer tires and rims and the previous XCOM tires sitting in the back of the truck. It's already doing its job right from delivery day, you guys. So I'm pumped though, because I've heard nothing but great things about TRXs You'll love it. and it's time for me to actually drive one. So here's, here's a funny thing. I've never driven a TRX. Really? Ever. So I picked this up like just it. with what everyone told me about the experience of having one of these. You'll love it. So I'm pumped. Matt had some aftermarket wheels and tires on and he took these off right day one when he got the truck basically. So I have brand new, perfectly good wheels brand new rubber, I'm good to go. So I gotta get in this thing. So this is a 6.2 liter supercharged and it has, they have what, 700 horsepower? Yeah. So this thing moves. Moves, for a truck, for a heavy truck. I really do like the black. Like, oh, it's just tough. With the matte black accents? Yeah. I love it. Now, do we keep it black or should I make it match Wifey's G63 cool. and get some, and the Mercy, and get some Inozatec Nardo Gray and have uh, August Customs, which is just over here. Yep. We'll do a little update on the August Customs shop because they've done a bunch of work in there. And now uh, August Customs does all those things that we would always have the boys do on our cars, like install exhaust systems, and could, now they do custom stereos and vinyl wraps and yep. everything. Yeah, exactly. A Nardo Gray would look pretty bad on this thing. Yeah, for sure. 
What are you guys doing with the EV Hummer too? Is that Matt's? That's, well, that's, we got a deal on that one right now. Really? You're selling yep. it? Yeah. So what do those sell for? Just over 200. Oh, Canadian. Canadian. Oh my yeah. gosh. Those are expensive. Yeah. Now these at one time were close to 200 Canadian. They went, they were, when they, right were, when they first came out. When they, they first were, came out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 190, 200 Canadian. And now they're not quite half, but almost half that price. Yeah. So around the 110, 115, depending on the mileage and, and you the know. Levels. The, like this is a level that, two, so yeah. the higher end one. That's right, yeah. exactly. Anyhow, I'm going to jump in this. First job, take tires home, pick up Presley from school. I'm doing all the dad oh, stuff today. Normal dad duties today. I appreciate these guys. I, in fact, I have Presley's jacket we left at Mike's house last night after Halloween. I got to take that home. They even have some Alcantara in the center console. That's cool. Well, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Wifey's pumped for this because now I don't have to be like, oh, well, I got to take the G-Wagon. I got to go do something. She's like, I have a lash film and I have my hair to get done. So we're always conflicting when we need to borrow the, the G63. And it's not like it's always inconvenient, but it would be nice to just be like, I have my man truck and then she yeah. has her wifey G-Wagon. Wifey G-Wagon. For all the guys that drive a G-Wagon, right. you're gonna love that. Very Orange County housewives, <laughs> but in Kelowna. Yeah. Okay, bro. Okay, buddy. See ya. Appreciate you guys. No problem, man. If you guys need anything, remember, they don't just sell supercars, they sell everything. I mean, they have Literally. SUVs. In fact, over in the parking lot here, they have another G-Wagon, they have Hummers, they have all sorts of crazy stuff. You know who's Brand new Escalade? Is that an Escalade? That's Dave's G-Wagon. Is it? Yeah. Dave's G-Wagon's for sale? Buy Dave's G-Wagon. That's not the one he drove into the fence. And it's that's right, we'll make that clear. That's not <laughs> yeah, that's the one not. that went into the fence. I believe that's Ryan Reynolds' old G-Wagon. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. TRX ownership. <laughs> I'm pumped. Dude. <laughs> That's cool. Man, I'm I'm stoked for this because anybody who has had a truck knows how useful they are. And when you don't have a truck, you always wish you had a truck. And this thing's got so much room inside of it. This is very much the same cab dimensions, I believe, as our 3500 Ram Dually that we tow the race cars around with our trailer. And it's got all the screen and functionality that I'm already used to because it is very, very similar to that truck. So, dude, this thing's got paddle shifters? I didn't know that. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. All right, I need to do my first drive. I'll give you guys some feedback. We gotta head to my house. I gotta offload my load I have, my truck, tires. Go pick up my daughter from school. Very cool. The real question is, we'll do a brake stand. <laughs> oh, probably not, I think it's all wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is freaking cool. The suspension's so soft on this. It's like a ball style, I think, off-road suspension in here, right from the factory. Man, that's like half throttle. It's crazy. I mean, you got the heated steering wheel on for me already. This is perfect. Get the windows down. It's freezing. It's so cold. Well, it's only one degree. Not quite freezing, freezing, literally, but man, I'm stoked. What's the first mission for the TRX after this? I hear these things are pretty capable for doing off-road stuff. Might have to test that out. A little uh, H1 versus TRX action. I was just noticing I got all these cool modes over here. I gotta go through some of these, so. I'm currently in auto, this, so this custom traction control off, it just automatically does that. Gangster, rock, what's after rock? Baja mode with the jump, with the truck jumping. Get out of here, that's hilarious. Sport, I'll just rock sport for a second. Listen to the supercharger whine, that is amazing. Holy crap, this thing moves too. Oh, it's got more aggressive downshifts now in the sport mode. This thing is sick. I'm so pumped. I hope the camera's picking this up because the whine of the supercharger is pretty amazing. Like. <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing actually gets going pretty quick. 
like Mike said, for a big heavy truck. Okay, I'm almost at Presley's school. We'll grab her and we'll get Presley's reaction to what she thinks of the truck because other than the 3500, can't, I don't think we've ever owned a truck. No, this is the first truck. Besides, obviously, the dually for the for the work. I have a surprise for you. What? I was just gonna ask you if we could do something. This is our this is our new truck. Whoa. What do you think? I like it. It's so shiny. Right? It's so clean and shiny. What do you think? I love it. Wait, you get to, the G-Wagon? The G-Wagon's at the house. That's mom's vehicle. This is dad's. This is more I like, this is always, it. this is I'm our like, no. <laughs> no, I didn't get rid of mom. Mom would actually destroy me. I know you liked the uh, 3500, the dually we used for towing. This is basically similar interior. In fact, if you look above you, I haven't opened it yet, but that's a big glass sunroof. Are you excited? Yeah. I know you like the trucks. Okay, ready? Yeah. So what do you think of this thing? It's cool. It's cool, huh? Right? Oh, this sound really cool. <gasps> wow. Hold on, it's not done yet. Ready? <gasps> uh. What do you think? That's cool. Look at look how big the sunroof is in this thing. It's like it goes all the way back. All the way. So if you're in the back seat, you have lots of light. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. You like it? Okay. The G-Wagon, you only have like this part and yeah. just a little bit going. <laughs> it is smooth, right? It's got this fancy suspension in it for a truck. It's all adjustable. I can change the modes right here. We can go into something called Baja mode and that's like jumping mode. You can jump this truck. <laughs> what do you think? Should we jump it? No. Right now? Ah! Sure. Can't jump it in our neighborhood. It'd probably be a bad idea. Furry friends. Say hi to our furry friends. Hi, furry friend. That's Kevin and George. Hi, Kevin and George. George has walked up the stairs. Bye. I like Kevin and George. They're nice. You like Kevin and George? Yeah. Listen to this thing. It sounds like a sport car. Right? Okay. I'll unload all the wheels and tires and then put the seats in the back back to where they are. And then you wanna go for a cruise in this thing or what? Should we go get a treat somewhere? Yeah. yeah? All right, I'll move the big heavy stuff. I have a lot of homework. Lots? Yep. Well, maybe we shouldn't go anywhere then, hey? No, no <laughs> treats? Ah! Water bottle on the loose! Where's your water bottle going? <laughs> Bro, you lost your water bottle. All right. Time to unload all of these bad boys. And these actually have wheels attached to the tires, so they're gonna be probably a bit heavy. All right, I think I can stick them over here with the other ones. And then I will take Presley for our first father-daughter drive in the TRX. Ooh, We're gonna excited. bring in the puppies. What do you think? Presley loves it, right? Okay, can you open the door for me, Press? I got a dog bed here for Dino and Roma, so they have something. It's trustworthy, yeah. not run away. They don't trust Roma, though. Ooh. I like it. It's our first truck. Come on, Dino. I'm so excited. Oh, Dino's excited. Is he? Dino, you want to go for a car ride? Come on, come on, so bud. We can uh, put all the things in there, like snowblower. Snowblower? Know. We're getting a snowblower? I mean, look at this driveway. True. Okay, we'll put that right here. Presley, do you Dino mind picking him up? up? Dino, come here. Come here. He's taking He's off. Presley, you want to sit behind mom? Roma, come here. Dino, you need a plaid jacket. You, know, you need a plaid jacket for this. That's right. Dino, you want to jump in your bed? <laughs> Roma stole the bed. Look at this. Look at this sunroof. My new daily oh. driver. <laughs> well, Stuart really uh, detailed these seats. Yeah, someone put a little, <laughs> I don't know, something on them. <laughs> Dino, you got to share. Look at him. We need those ones that are like buckets for the dogs. Buckets? We're not gonna it's put like our dogs in a yeah. bucket. Dogs in, doggies in a bucket. Are you excited okay. for this? I mean, the only music that can now be played in here is either country music or Nickelback. No! No. <laughs> the dogs need bucket hats. What do you think of that? I mean, let's keep it rubbing. <gasps> Come on. Our neighbor's gotta get used to this. Our neighbor's gotta get used to this. Whoa. I mean, as long as you are not putting any kind of modified anything exhaust on this. 
We just keep it as is. <laughs> we could make it louder. Let's not. <laughs> Let's not? Let's not. How's the room back there, Presley? Good. Do you like it? She's got lots of room. It's no. amazing. I feel so far away from Don't you love the roof? This is so nice. Look at that. I love it. Oh, oh, you know, I'm sure it can tow a boat. Oh yeah, it's got towing capacity and all that stuff. This thing's got like 700 horsepower. Speed mode. Speed mode. Yeah, it's in sport mode right now. The Baja mode's cool. You can jump this thing. It's got like crazy suspension. We won't this be is, doing that. This is, well, come on. No. We can jump it. I mean, you need some practice before you do that. You, you, you are not in the business of jumping anything. Let's jump, let's jam. You have to do it on the way home. Let's jump it with the family in here. Let's not. Let's, let's save that for, remember the Hummer days when you got that thing, the white one stuck in that river of water? It did get stuck. There's a river. I drove through it. No. Made it no problem. No, there was a time someone had to come, you broke the winch on it because you didn't know how to use those. Oh, in the snow. Yes. <laughs> I remember that. That was Gabe and I. Yes. The white one. Yes. Up Cypress. Rona! What? She's chewing the bed. Don't and it was chew the hanging bed. right off her face. She looked like Father Time. <laughs> what was it? Let's see. What? Oh my god. Bed. Don't chew the bed. What a view. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think of this thing? Comfortable? Oh yeah. It's very luxurious. What do you think, Presley? The dogs Perfect. like it? <laughs> the doggies. What do you think, Dino and Roma? Where are we? <gasps> Does Dino and Roma love the car? They want to get out. <laughs> they want to get out is what they want to do. All right, wifey, I'll get you to hold this as well because I have to show you guys the varsity jacket, the hoodie drops November 10th. We have a hat, we have a whole collection. So make sure you guys stay tuned because we'll be doing some announcements leading up to that. But we're planning on doing a drop November 10th, I believe, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You'll be able to get one of the limited edition jackets. Let me show you guys this because we put a lot of work into this jacket and I'm really pumped. By the way, the truck, I'm really pumped about this thing too. These are, these are pretty damn sick. And I'm glad I picked one up. Not at the top of the market when they were like $200,000. Varsity jacket, we have the 11s, the detail, it's fuzzy. We actually have a DD hat with the same texture. Then we have DD here. We got some fun quotes on here. Life's too short to drive boring cars. We have our favorite plates, sellout and revenge. And then we have a few other fun quotes like there are no speed limits on the road to success. Drive Up it top. like yeah. you stole it. Drive it like you stole it. Yeah. And this is vegan leather, right? It is. It yes. is a vegan leather. Quilted on the inside, super cozy. And then you can layer it because it's fall and winter is coming up. It's going to be cold. We have the blacked out DD logo, no strings, kind of more of like a premium high fashion type of hoodie. But we also, if you didn't end up getting maybe a jacket, we also have a varsity hoodie. So with all these details, but on a super premium high quality hoodie, which is a heavyweight hoodie, it does have the drawstring. So we have best of both worlds. Like I said, we're also gonna have a blackout jet tag for your keychain. Super excited. This is probably one of my favorite drops we've ever done because put a lot of thought into making this jacket and I've wanted to make a varsity style jacket for a long time. So here it is. It's super sick. I it got is. myself an extra small. We did, we got you one. So look how small wifey is next to this thing though. Hey, okay? I mean, you know. let's go. We gotta do some off-roading in this bad boy. I, I, it's not as tall as like, you know, back in the OG August days, that one truck you would climb into. But. Here, jump in there. Okay. Let's see, you could drive this thing. Oh, I'm gonna drive it. Not yeah. Like, not like I stole it, but I'll drive it. <laughs> you might need to move the seat up just a little. No, don't you put Dino up here. His nails will scratch that. He's oh. okay. You can put him up. Oh, and I'm they're and go. they're there. He's good. Oh, he took over it's the front booty. seat. He's my buddy. He took over the front seat, hey, he buddy. Right, mama. Hey. Aww. All right, guys, and that's a wrap for this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.